So my mum had them all on the wall because it used to cheer you up, didn't it, mum? Yeah. So. And you don't feel alone when you've got your photos up. Despite all the photographs, this isn't the picture of a happy childhood. And that's obviously me, my personality shining through yet again. That's it was around sister. this age me that Angela Rayner began caring for her mum. I sometimes get upset at the way that Angie's had to grow up pretty fast because, like, she's... I always picture her as the mum when I was having that really dark time because... I was acting like a baby. But that was a depression, wasn't it? That's yeah. how it made you feel. I was really depressed and suicidal. When I was in a very dark place, she used to bath me, look after me, feed me. If it wasn't for her, I don't think I'd be here today. I remember being scared. I remember staying at the bottom of my mum's bed once, thinking, is my mum going to do something? And not wanting to go to sleep, because I didn't want to go to sleep and think that my mum wouldn't be there in the morning. This is the first time they've spoken on camera about their past, as Angela Rayner focuses on her future and runs to be deputy leader of Labour. She has done well to get where she is today. All what she's been through and everything, she's come through it all and look at her, look where she is. Is that nice for you to hear, Angela? Yeah, my mum doesn't... I don't... That's like... Yeah, my mum doesn't say stuff like that often, so it's nice. Hi, how are things? Hi. Having been on quite a journey, Angela Rayner took us on another around her constituency of ashton under -Lyme. Well, my mum couldn't read, so we, we ended up with shaving foam once instead of cream for our jelly. Becoming a mum herself at just 16, she relied on family centres like this one. Did you feel a stigma around that? Massively. I mean, I, was, I felt really embarrassed about the situation because people just thought it was because I was easy. I'm lucky for the um, situation that I was in because it did give me, it gave me a reason to live. In her political career, she's been blessed with better fortune. Every time you've looked after me, I've won. <laughs> She is the front runner to be deputy Labour leader after just five years in Parliament. Politically, what would you say is the difference between you and Jeremy Corbyn? Um, I'd say that I'm more bombastic, more focused, and more sharp. And I, um, I think, uh, would expect more discipline in a way that Jeremy didn't. He didn't command respect. Do you think? He has a place in the next shadow cabinet. He got people like me who would never have had the opportunity to serve on the front bench and he gave us that opportunity. I think now the opportunity should be for the next generation to come forward. Angela Rayner never expected to be part of that generation. Some question why she's not running to lead it. I watch this play. She'll be the Prime Minister soon. Watch out, Boris. You won't be there for long. <laughs> for now, she'll settle for deputy. Perhaps the habit of putting others first. Paul Brandt, News at 10, Ashton Underline.